my ringtone in fifth grade. Watching the jellyfish is fun, but it's just a very mediocre episode otherwise. Now you look at this hat and tell me with the straight face that Spongebob didn't know about Christmas back in season one. Is, did Sandy lie and that sauce wasn't actually spicy or is she just super immune to hotness? Which would explain her lack of attraction towards Spongebob. Hot chocolate and some nice music. So are any of you excited for Rampage? I am. Um, don't get me wrong, I like this episode. But I heard the song so many times back in primary school that I just had my share, I guess. Still, a very fun episode. This one goes out to all the fellas. You're welcome. genuinely great character introductions in this series. This was back when Plankton could- I thought this one was just a teeny bit too uneventful. This is that, slowly but surely, you are turning into Bubble Bass. It's the episode that started the trend of Mr. Krabs just being overly money hungry at times. He got some really great characters, not all that exciting first episode. Uh, every night at closing, and I mean, where does it all go? Are SpongeBob and Patrick not on more greatest cartoon couples lists? They have the great little jacket, Kill Bill. It also has a really good game to go along with it. I'm on the GBA. That's reason enough to like it, I guess. The biggest anime plot mm. twist. Sandy's song was my ringtone in fifth grade. Catching the jellyfish is fun. But it's just a very mediocre episode otherwise. Exploitation, torture porn, but also the montage of them catching the jellyfish is episode otherwise. This is a job for Baron Bad Beaver, master of the really terrible. Whatever the reason, I find myself on the side. Like on the outside, he would be an incredible method actor. Hey, all named Larry, or is it the same one? Did he get that old this fast? Yes, yes, it's him. I should just make this my number one pick instead because the recording equipment broke. What? Got it. Good boy. Rated episodes are always some of the best looking. That fireplace look just makes you want to be there. However dumb Patrick may look like on the outside, he would be an incredible method actor. Primary school that I just had my share, I guess. Still, a very fun episode. I kind of want to know yeah. who's working on this thing. Nation known to man. Also, I adore the visuals in this one. This one goes out to all the fellas in the audience. If you really want to get a lady in the mood. From now on, you will be in charge of the sheep. But Dad... Earl doesn't appear in enough episodes. The whiny teen trope works quite well with Spongebob's equally dim-witted antics. The single most important thing Spongebob has taught me, it's... Really? Many people don't know this, but this is actually the English version of the Italian ballad Not Ballo Italiano, Asino Intelligente. The third Mr. Mr. Krabs ship is named SS Cheapskate is just perfect. <laughs> All-around funny episode. I'm glad they didn't pass off Patrick as a jealous dumbass in the end and went with the heartwarming route. I'm the last person I would have As an avid from Squarepants lore, I am insulted to you, sir. Episodes for some reason. This is my favorite Larry episode. He is still as one-dimensional as ever and not an annoying way like in ripped pants or something. The only episode without dialogue. Rumor has it because the recording equipment broke. Whatever the reason, I find myself on the side of people who really enjoy this short quite a lot. It may look like on the outside, he would be an incredible method actor. Episode in your best cartoon foods list, huh? Just, just look at it. Choosing a favorite of the time, every day, until it got too annoying for him. 
Let it show. <laughs> also, would I be considered an old guy already if I genuinely love bread flakes? You come on down to the crusty crab, home of the yeah. an episode that only ripens with its and your age. Yes, yes, and famous. I'd buy myself a really expensive astronaut get up to and it is infinitely better by default. One of the best season one episodes, great where it stands, this audience has some terrible taste. Max is a great one off character, it's basically perfect. This episode not only graced us with one hell of a meta joke, but a perfect amount of patching. The Flying Dutchman is an awesome character.